Welcome to the global defense battle. The T-14 Armada, developed by Russia, is a next-generation main battle tank designed for advanced warfare. It was built on the Armada Universal Combat Platform to replace older Soviet-era tanks like the T-72 and T-90. The T-14 focuses on superior protection, firepower, and mobility while introducing cutting-edge technologies like an unmanned turret and advanced sensors. It was publicly revealed in 2015 and has been under testing since then. On the other hand, the Challenger II, introduced by the United Kingdom, is a battle-proven main battle tank that entered service in 1998. It was designed to replace the Challenger I and focuses heavily on survivability, particularly with its highly durable Chobham armor. The Challenger II is built for long endurance on the battlefield and excels in accuracy and reliability. Developed to maintain the UK's edge in armored warfare, this tank has been a critical part of British Army operations for over two decades. And today, we will compare both of these tanks, Russia's T-14 Armada versus UK's Challenger II main battle tank. So, let's start. Talking about the design first, the Russian T-14 Armada features a modern design with a focus on crew safety and advanced technology. Its hull is divided into three sections, the crew compartment at the front, an unmanned turret in the center, and the engine at the rear. This layout allows all three crew members, the commander, gunner, and driver to sit together in a protected armored capsule at the front. This design reduces the risk to the crew in combat. The T-14 measures approximately 8.7 meters in length, 3.5 meters in width, and 3.3 meters in height, with a weight of around 55 tons. On the other hand, the British Challenger II has a more traditional tank design. The driver is positioned at the front center of the hull, while the commander and gunner are seated in the turret, the commander on the right and the gunner below him, with the loader on the left side. This four-person crew arrangement allows for manual loading of the main gun, which some argue provides greater reliability. The Challenger 2's dimensions include a hull length of 8.3 meters, extending to 13.5 meters with the gun forward, a width of 3.5 meters, and a height of 2.49 meters. It has a combat weight of about 62.5 tons. Overall, both tanks are similar in size and weight, but their internal layouts reflect different approaches to crew safety and operational functionality. Talking about the engine and power, the T-14 Armada is powered by a CHTZ 12N360 diesel engine, delivering up to 1,500 horsepower. This engine is paired with a 12-speed automatic transmission, enabling the tank to reach speeds between 75 and 80 km per hour. The T-14 employs a hydropneumatic suspension system, which enhances its mobility across various terrains. It has an operational range of at least 500 km on a full tank. The tank's design allows it to operate effectively alongside mechanized infantry units, maintaining pace during combined operations. On the other hand, the Challenger II is equipped with a Perkins CV-126AV-12 diesel engine, producing 1,200 horsepower. This engine is coupled with a David Brown TCNC-54 gearbox, offering six forward and two reverse gears. The tank can achieve a maximum road speed of 59 km per hour and approximately 40 km per hour off-road. Its hydropneumatic suspension system provides stability and maneuverability across diverse terrains. With a fuel capacity of 1,592 liters, the Challenger II has an operational range of 550 km on-road and 250 km off-road. This range and speed enable it to effectively support infantry movements in various combat scenarios. Overall, both the tanks are designed for high mobility and performance. Talking about the armament and firepower, the T-14 Armada is equipped with a 125mm 2A82 1M smoothbore main gun, capable of firing various ammunition types, including armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding sabo rounds, high-explosive fragmentation shells, and guided missiles. This versatility allows the T-14 to engage a wide range of targets effectively. The main gun is complemented by an auto-loader system, enabling a firing rate of approximately 10 to 12 rounds per minute. Secondary armament includes a 12.7mm cord machine gun with 300 rounds and a 7.62mm PKTM machine gun with 1,000 rounds, providing additional firepower against infantry and light vehicles. The advanced fire control system and unmanned turret design enhance the accuracy and effectiveness of the T-14's weaponry. On the other hand, the Challenger II features a 120mm L30A1 rifled main gun, unique among NATO tanks for its rifle barrel, which improves accuracy. It fires various ammunition types, including APF-SDS, high-explosive squash head and smoke rounds, with a capacity of up to 50 rounds. The Challenger II relies on manual loading, resulting in a firing rate of about 6 rounds per minute. Secondary armament comprises a coaxial 7.62mm L94A1 chain gun, 
and a 7.62mm L37A2 machine gun mounted on the loader's hatch, with a total of 4,200 rounds for the secondary weapons. The tank's fire control system includes a stabilized panoramic sight and thermal imaging, allowing for accurate target engagement at distances exceeding 5 kilometers, even under adverse conditions. Overall, both tanks are equipped with powerful main guns capable of penetrating modern armor. Talking about the armor and protection, the T-14 Armada employs advanced protection measures, including composite armor and malachite explosive reactive armor designed to neutralize incoming threats. Its exact armor thickness remains undisclosed, but it's engineered to withstand modern anti-tank munitions. The tank features the Afghanit Active Protection System, which uses high-explosive fragmentation grenades to intercept incoming projectiles. The crew, housed in an armored capsule within the hull, benefits from enhanced survivability. Visibility is maintained through advanced optics and sensors, providing comprehensive situational awareness without direct line of sight. On the other hand, the Challenger 2 is protected by second-generation Chabam armor, also known as Dorchester, renowned for its durability against kinetic and chemical attacks. While specific armor thickness is classified, the tank's design emphasizes crew safety. Recent upgrades have introduced explosive reactive armor and active protection systems to bolster defense against modern threats. The four-person crew benefits from a nuclear, biological, and chemical protection system and advanced thermal imaging for improved visibility. Overall, both tanks incorporate sophisticated armor and protection systems to enhance battlefield survivability. Talking about the situational awareness, the T-14 Armada is equipped with advanced sensors and communication systems that provide comprehensive situational awareness. Its design includes 360-degree cameras and radar systems, allowing the crew to monitor the battlefield effectively. The tank's digitalized command and control systems enable real-time data sharing with other units, facilitating coordinated operations. This integration into network-centric warfare systems enhances the T-14's effectiveness by allowing seamless communication and coordination on the battlefield. On the other hand, the Challenger 2 has been upgraded with modern sensors and communication equipment to improve situational awareness. These enhancements include thermal imaging systems and advanced optics, providing the crew with better visibility and target acquisition capabilities. The tank's communication systems have been updated to allow integration into network-centric warfare environments, enabling data exchange with other platforms and command centers for coordinated operations. Both the T-14 Armada and Challenger 2 are designed to operate effectively in modern network-centric warfare scenarios. Regarding cost, the T-14 Armada's production costs vary, with figures ranging from approximately $3.75 million to $8 million per unit. The higher costs are attributed to its advanced technologies, including an unmanned turret and sophisticated defense systems. On the other hand, the Challenger 2's each unit had an estimated production cost of around $5.5 million. The total development and procurement expenditure amounted to approximately $2.8 billion for 386 tanks and 22 driver training vehicles. This investment reflects the British Army's commitment to maintaining a robust armored capability. Initially, the Russian Army planned to acquire 2,300 T-14s between 2015 and 2020. However, by 2018, production and fiscal shortfalls delayed this target to 2025. As of December 2024, serial production has commenced, with more than 40 Armada tanks anticipated to be delivered to Russian troops after 2023. The exact number of T-14s currently in active service remains undisclosed. Regarding exports, Russia has unveiled an export version of the T-14 Armada, but there are no confirmed international sales to date. On the other hand, the British Challenger 2 has been in service since 1998, with a total of 386 units delivered to the British Army and an additional 38 units purchased by Oman. In January 2023, the United Kingdom confirmed the supply of 14 Challenger 2 tanks to Ukraine, with the first units delivered in March 2023. As of November 2024, two Challenger 2 tanks have been confirmed destroyed in Ukraine, with 13 units remaining operational within the Ukrainian armed forces. The Challenger 2 has not been widely exported beyond Oman and Ukraine. In summary, both the tanks represent two distinct approaches to modern tank design and warfare. Both tanks symbolize the evolution of armored vehicles, catering to the strategic priorities of their respective nations. Which tank do you think has the edge in modern combat scenarios? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.